In today's video, we're going to talk about the latest KDE Plasma desktop update, version 6.3.5. This is a smaller but super important release that focuses on fixing a bunch of bugs and problems that people have been dealing with lately. If you're using KDE Plasma or thinking about trying it out, you'll definitely want to stick around, especially if you're someone using multiple monitors or an Nvidia graphics card, because there are some really nice fixes for you in this update. So let's break it down. Before we get into the details, let's quickly explain what KDE Plasma actually is, just in case you're new here. KDE Plasma is one of the most popular desktop environments for Linux, is what you see on the screen when you log in, things like your panels, star menu, app, windows, system tray and more. The best part about Plasma is that it's super customizable. You can make it look and behave exactly how you want. It's lightweight, fast and packed with features. And every so often, the KDE team releases new updates to fix problems, improve performance and add new features. 6.3.5 is one of those updates. Now, Plasma 6.3.5 isn't a major update with brand new features, but it's an important maintenance release. That means it's here to fix bugs, crashes and glitches that people reported over the past several weeks. The KDE team has been listening to feedback and this update polishes a lot of those rough edges to make your desktop experience smoother and more reliable. Let's go through some of the highlights and see what's been fixed and improved. First up, and this one is a big deal, Plasma 6.3.5 fixes an issue with the lock screen for Nvidia users. Some people noticed that when their screen locked, it would either turn black or start flickering. Super annoying, right? Well, good news, this has been fixed in the latest update. No more weird flickering lock screen if you're using an Nvidia graphics card. There is also a fix for K-Win crashes caused by GPU resets. Now, if your graphics card driver resets itself in the background, which can sometimes happen with Nvidia, your desktop won't crash along with it. Another area that got a lot of attention in this update is multi-monitor setups. If you use more than one screen, you may have noticed some odd behavior in previous Plasma versions. For example, the settings for one monitor will sometimes show up on the other screen. The activity switcher sidebar wasn't always in the right place and disconnecting a laptop from a docking station could cause crashes. Well, KDE Plasma 6.3.5 fixes all of those problems. Now, your settings should stay on the correct monitor, the sidebar appears where it should and everything stays stable when connecting or disconnecting screens. That's a big win for multi-monitor users. KWIN, which is Plasma's Windows and Compositor Manager, got a lot of love in this release too. One really important fix stops Plasma from constantly repainting the screen when it's dimmed. Before, when your screen dimmed, it would keep refreshing over and over, wasting system resources for no good reason. That's been fixed, so now your system will run a bit more efficiently. There were also several crash fixes, especially related to screen power cycling and connecting or disconnecting screens. So overall, Plasma should feel more stable in this update. Next up, let's talk about Plasma Discover. This is KDE's built-in app store and software updater. Plasma 6.3.5 fixes a few issues with Discover. The still looking message is now properly centered. The header text for offline upgrades is fixed when the windows is resized. And a random semi-common crash that will happen at times has also been fixed. A small thing, but these fixes make software management just a little smoother. Widgets also got some attention. The sticky notes widget will now probably remember its size when you resize it, no more having to fix it every time. The weather widget now shows the correct number right away when you add it, before it sometimes showed the wrong values until you restarted Plasma. The task manager widget, that's the app launcher bar where you open apps appear, got a fix too. If you're using a vertical panel with reversed mode where icons stack from bottom to top, the little pop-up dialogues from group apps will sometimes rotate 180 degrees. Super weird, right? Well, that's fixed now. If a notification message included this character, everything after it will disappear. That's fixed now. Notifications will also properly move to the correct position when you switch screen layouts or move monitors around. This may seem like little details, but they will add up to a smoother experience. A couple of other small improvements in Plasma 6.3.5. When you add a new printer, you can now set it as the default right away. The system now supports Qt 6.8.3 and 6.9 for handling screen shortcuts like Meta Plus P to switch display modes. 
A visual glitch on the recent file page in system settings was fixed too. And finally, the tooltips in Plasma are now more readable when using certain non-default color schemes, another nice little polish that improves day-to-day -day use. So, to sum it all up, KDE Plasma 6.3.5 may not be a flashy future-packed release, but it's a really solid and important update. If you're using Plasma already, I highly recommend updating to this version as soon as it hits your Linux distribution software repositories. It's going to make your system more stable, smoother and less buggy, especially if you use multiple monitors or an NVIDIA GPU. And if you haven't tried KDE Plasma yet, it's a fantastic desktop environment that's fast, lightweight, customizable and constantly improving. Plasma 6.3.5 is just one more example of how the KDE team keeps refining and polishing their work. And that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, be sure to give it a like, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos like this. I'd love to hear from you too. Are you running KDE Plasma? Did you notice any improvements after this update? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.